In January 2020, Melissa Tentakalis took the position of Burlington's first ever economic development director. And I'm really excited to be here and look forward to working for the residents. We all know what happened in 2020. Coming into this job with the pandemic at your heels obviously accelerated everything. So after, you know, trying to kind of touch base with folks, the federal government had moved to distribute some, you know, initial stimulus money. And that was to not only help bridge the, gra- the gap for folks, but, you know, just to, you know, support them getting through this. The first kind of chunk of money that we were able to get help from were just, you know, through the Small Business Association. So we really communicated that out to folks. Then we got some CDBG funds, and that was really, you had to be more proactive. And I think that's where, you know, the town of Burlington and other communities who have put in place an economic development position have benefited because they had kind of the horsepower to organize a grant, get some funding out, and then get it to the community. That was what we called the micro business loan through the CDBG fund. So it was a different pot of money still through the federal government. And that one, at the end of the day, we've kind of helped 10 businesses. There's other federal money that had come through, also administered through the state, but, you know, we promoted it. And that was pretty significant. And, you know, we've helped about 45 businesses through that program. With behaviors shifting to working from home, Burlington faces challenges with its office space. So we've been talking to our property owners about that. A lot of conversation comes into life science, like, okay, well, it's a hot you know, industry, let's just do, you know, office conversions. And I think we want to be kind of, you know, in an athletic stance and ready for that. Talking to our landlords and property owners and understanding that what are your building? What's most likely and most ripe to have that kind of transformation? And other than life science, what other things have you heard of and thinking about? I think Burlington, the cool piece of why I even came to this community is people are ready to be innovative and flexible, which I think will lend itself to a real sustainable livability over time. The town of Burlington is reaching out to residents in developing its economic future. So the town survey, at this point we're calling the Lower Town uh, Center <laughs> survey. When I first came here, I did stakeholder interviews with you know, selectmen, community leaders from town meeting, and aside from the mall, the town center and the health of the town center was really important to the community. I feel like this is really the heart of Burlington for those who live here. It's a neighborhood serving retail. People have an intimate relationship with a lot of the business there from, you know, the pizza joint to, you know, the coffee at True North. It's more of a community oriented area. That said, there's still a lot of room for kind of improving what could be there. At this point, what we're trying to do is leverage what the, the state has, you know, in terms of the funding for us. And one grant I was able to secure was called the Mass Downtown Initiative the grant funding program and put together a proposal that I felt felt in line with our master plan and kind of the feedback I had heard from the community was that let's figure out ways to activate some of our downtown or you know our town center so what we put together is the town center placemaking survey and we're getting it out to people if you've seen it on your social media or anything please take it because I'm aiming for a thousand responders and right now we have about 400 it kind of just lays a map out of the town center. It lays ideas out for what could be possible. And it tries to get ideas from the community and the businesses, like, what would you like to see here? And and it tends to be in the spaces that you wouldn't think of, maybe a parking lot, maybe an alleyway, will lend itself to increased business activity, having something that's fresh and interesting, and get something implemented for the spring. And with a playbook, the idea is to have several ideas over the different seasons, so we can kind of take out what might work or test out a couple things. Low cost, you know, relatively quick, and I think it'll help people rethink what's possible in the town center. Burlington is also pioneering in biotech with mass hire. There's been a real kind of strong demand in even entry-level jobs needed for biomanufacturing, healthcare, and other life science fields. And so with that, we were able to secure between Bedford and Burlington over $300,000 for 
just workforce training. And we're excited about that. As much as it won't hit a ton of people, we really feel strongly that it'll be a few people, but it'll be quality and meaningful change in their life and prepare them for a field that's gonna grow and have a lot of opportunity. It works that you can get eight to $15,000 for funding, depending on the program you choose, and land a job too. So we've been in touch with Leahy, Melipore, Sarupta to make sure that we're not just training and sending people out without you know prospects, but make sure that it's really targeted and then help them land the job. One thing that governments can do in terms of intervention is just getting the word out. What is Burlington doing? What is it about these days? Why should I bring my business there? So we're in the process of developing a very commercially focused website that highlights our four main industries, which is currently we have life science, healthcare, and obviously our strong kind of hospitality restaurant retail piece. And then this really cool industry that's kind of growing, you'll be hearing more about it, which is 3D manufacturing. Those are things we want to highlight and just share with people. We have real neat innovation going on in Burlington and we haven't been able to promote that. So once we have that anchored, you know, we're going to be doing a bigger launch and it's connected to also a social media campaign, which is called Bring Me to Burlington. We're testing it out right now. So you might see things on your Instagram or Facebook feed that is the town of Burlington and we're just testing out a few things. So once we have that website kind of up and running, we'll be able to anchor it back to that and you'll see more information from us on that. There's a lot going on here besides just how I can help you through kind of an entitlement process. But look what's also here. And B News looks forward to tracking Burlington's gains. From Town Hall, this is B News reporter Tad Stefanak.